That's right, welcome back to Tactical May. Welcome to Cactical May. Today we're going to be talking about the Harley Davidson flush mount gas cap and fuel gauge. What I like about it, what I don't like about it, the install, the price, all of the above. But before we get into any of that, we're just going to go ahead and appreciate these clear skies. Here in the state of Florida, we haven't had that in quite a while. It's been a minute, if, if that's how you can say it. Definitely been a minute. Bikes warmed up. weather guys literally in the last 90 days here where I where I where I stay at here in the the uh, the not sunshine state of Florida we've had I think it's been six days with no rain you can see all the water over there that normally doesn't have any water in it now, I don't know if the GoPro is picking that up over there but that's all full of water so yeah gonna enjoy this weather get out for a little scooty boot running a new setup too so if the, uh, the angle's not right oh well we're just gonna have to bear through it and that's enough talking cactus man we came here to look at that and that all right so how are we gonna review this well we're riding let's go ahead and talk about it right now you can see the lights the brightness look at that we're fixing to hit some sun can you still see it in the sun yeah, you can still see it in the sun. So the Harley Davidson flush mount gas cap and fuel gauge. This is for touring models. I believe they got the same thing for the soft tail models and they have the flush mount cap for sportsters. The touring model, we're sitting on a Harley Davidson Road King Special 2020. Not gonna be any different, but just look at it guys. It, to me, to me, it cleans up the look of your bike. 10 times better especially in the on the special models if you don't have a special model or you're not blacking out your bike the factory chrome cap and gauge is okay the the, the factory fuel gauge is uh it, it, even if you do like chrome it does definitely leave something to be desired uh it's just uh, bleh. and it never really lines up matches up or anything like that of what your actual fuel content is glorious red light in the sun wonderful if you look down right now I still got chrome here I want I, I got I found one of these in black I need to get this and uh, let's get moving it's fucking hot toasty you're gonna give me a light man <sighs> cooking cooking in the state of Florida so if you are blacking out your bike or you got a special it's definitely a hundred times better having these my next next thing I got to do I found a black ignition switch but I need to find a blacked out uh, dash inlay and speedometer trim uh, otherwise that's gonna look stupid if that's just blacked out but we are getting there especially on special models oh it's okay we're gonna rate this 10 out of 10 on looks yes absolutely if you do your part on the installation and you get this put on there just right 10 out of 10 beautiful upgrade worth the money where did I get mine my lovely wife got it for me for my 40th birthday thank you I'm old thank you baby let's go into the function the function of the gas gauge is amazing it's not so sensitive that if you turn your bike sharp your your, your, your dots are gonna go down it's not so sensitive that when you come to a sharp stop it's gonna mess up on you it has a delay so keep that in mind that there is a delay there so you might need to uh, pay attention when you're at a red light what does it go to so you don't run out of your fuels if that's how you live 
running out of fuel. Another red light. Dag nabbit, Florida. And it's hot. Real hot. Whew. That dude got LED lights in the blazing sun. Yeah, he do. Damn, son. Look at that. Good. Get it, boy. Yes. Thank you. I'm boiling in my helmet. Oh, man. I just love that 475 cam, guys. I'm sorry, but it's a beast. Okay, so functionality, we're back to that. Great on the fuel gauge. Um, it's plenty bright. You can see it's in the sun. We're in the sun. We're in the Florida sun. You can see it. It doesn't matter. At night, it's not too overbearing that you um, can't, or not that you can't see it, but that you, you're just distracted. You don't get distracted by it. It's perfect amount of brightness. Um, the fuel cap, let me, let me tell you something. If you're somebody that doesn't like to take your gloves off when you fuel up, you're going to have to take your gloves off. It's slick. Uh, unless you got like some stupid grippy gloves or something like that. But these, even with the, the finger grips on them, or the, the palm grips, or not the palm grips, good grief, the finger tabs, it's still a little slick. Take my gloves off, pops right on out. The one thing, and this is a, a con, and this is a subjective con because it's, it's me. There's no, I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know what the hell it's called. But on a, on a factory one where you, where you turn it and you reach the maximum tightness, it has that like torque relief, kind of like a torque wrench, and you get click click. Growing up my entire life, every gas cap I have have had on any vehicle has had that. So I always, two clicks, good to go. This does not have that. So you, if you're not careful, you can 100% over tighten. Just be careful on that because it is not, when it pops off, it's not, it doesn't, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's the strongest thing in the world. So if you over tighten it and run a whole tank fuel and you got some suctions on there and whatnots and theirs and whose and what's, it might be a little bit difficult to come off and sometimes it feels like it could snap. It hasn't, it's given me no issues. I've gotten used to it. Just if you're one of them people that are a two clicker on your torque cap, just be cautious. Other than that, it's just beautiful. It pops up every time. It goes back down. Just turn, pop, down, pop, and you're good to go. It's it's an amazing. I just I'm not even gonna go through the rest of it without telling you guys I freaking love the looks and what it done. Especially since I debadged my tank, it's cleaning everything up again. Like I said, all I got to do is get this blacked out and this blacked out. So if anybody knows any dash inlays for uh, 2020 Road King specials, let me know. I can't find any. It seems like they do it for the street glides and the road glides. It's like the road king's the black sheep of the touring model. Now let's talk about the insulation. Guys, I did not film the insulation because back then I wasn't really doing motorcycle videos. But now I'm back and I kind of wish I did film the insulation. But we'll talk about the ease of insulation, I guess. I guess that's what we'll do. Uh, let's go ahead and make this light first before I... Uh, oh, I shouldn't... Yammy New says, never turn left on yellows. But I just did. Sorry, Yammy. Oh, rest in peace, buddy. So the installation of this is stupid simple. All you really need is make sure you prep your area good, right? For the, two, the adhesive on this trim ring. Make sure you prep it good. Make sure you take the time to line it up. I spent the time to line it up, and you'll never believe this, but when I'm going, I peel the, the, the backing off the, two, the sticky tape. I go to put it on and I freaking sneeze. So my lining up is just a little bit off. Um, if, I, if I have B-roll in this video, you'll see I'm literally about just a smidget off on the bottom, closer to the rider. Doesn't affect the look any unless you actually sit there and examine it. Uh, my bike's not a show bike. I ride it, I have fun with it, and it is what it is. But just make sure you spend the time for that. Stupid simple. Getting this one set, there's a there's a couple little tricky things on, on here that uh, on, on the mounting bracket, you, you kind of feel like you're going to break it. 
but right when you feel like you're gonna break it you you make it work so that's uh that's how she rolls I, it, it's hard to explain that's why i say i kind of wish i installed it but definitely if if you're reading the instructions on it <coughs> excuse me if you're reading the instructions on it and it literally feels like you're gonna snap the little mounting bracket that goes around this you're not unless you're just really screwing up then then you might but there you have it the Harley Davidson flush mount gas cap and fuel gauge love it guys Thank you for stopping by Cactus Lane. If you want to support the channel, click on one of the video links in the comment section down below, as well as the description uh, section. If you want to see anything else on this motorcycle, motor cycle, if you want to see anything else on my road king, what I've done, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will make a video specific to your request, if I have it or if I can do it. Check you in the next video, dudes, and do that right out.